Hello everyone and welcome to Select to the End Season 19. Hey. We have a new organizer called Burbo. Hello. Welcome. Alright, back to That's you me. now. <laughs> what, me? Yes. Oh, um, wait, no, Vernon? Wait, where's Shit. Vernon? Is it my turn? I'm right here behind you. Ah! Fucking Where? up here. Where are you at? Okay. Look at me. Vernon, yeah. Vernon, what are, we, what are we doing this season? We're doing a almost vanilla game with delayed uh, tiered pick teams of four. Holy shit. Was that what it? What does that mean? Yes. What does that mean? That means no, that... no, Berber, what does that mean? Fuck. Yeah, what does that mean? Okay, that means that in uh, that when we scatter, everybody will be free for all. Uh, 50 minutes into episode one, there's a tier, uh, tier three people get to pick a tier four person to join on a team. And that continues until everybody's on a team. We have four tiers, um, built with seven people each. Um, that's about it, actually. Um, yeah. We have teams, and they. Uh, it's probably teams. Cold Bacon to join. Yeah, but uh, shut up, Cold Bacon. We're doing the intro. If it is yeah, Cold Bacon. Yeah, what the hell, Cold Bacon? All right. So here are the twenty-eight players that we have this season, starting from tier four. We have the organizer Burbo. She's Hi. played all seasons from one to six, and all seasons from twelve to now, but none in between. After oh that, God. we have the previous organizer, Frostbread. He has two kills in his 17 seasons, and one of them was a team kill. Uh, after that, we have Longa Vida. He has two wins and two second places in his six seasons. Wacko Flipper, his last recorded round, was in 2015, and he's also a newcomer. Stalas, before playing season 16, his latest season before that was 7. Katie, her first three deaths into the end were from things all starting with the letter S. <laughs> Uh, and Frankie. I don't have anything for Frankie. <laughs> Sorry, Frankie. Because I'm not a tier 4 player. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Frankie, he was the first person team killed into the end back in season 5, killed by Timon Shote. In That's tier right. 3, we have Timon Shote. He got the first ever team kill into the end in season 5 <laughs> of Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> we also have Lou Gregory, who hasn't gotten a, who hasn't gotten a kill since season 9. Fuck so you. That's sad. Uh, we have DVN or Dylan, who was technically sort of supposed to play one of the first seasons, but he didn't have a good computer, and he's also a newcomer. Uh, we have me, and the fact for me is that I've died three times to falling in UHC, and all three have been into the end. We also have Chloe. She has a KD of one in to the end. And we have Don. He's a newcomer. Sorry, Don. Uh, <laughs> in tier two... We have B.S. Brent, who I once called B. Brent. We have B. Rory. <laughs> she is the first and only biological girl into the end. Oi! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Don't try and argue your biological for a fucking second. <laughs> yeah, we it's have, it's we have cool. Americ, a.k.a. Bill, who will allegedly be making the intro for this season. Pressure's on, buddy. <laughs> Unless everything falls for the last minute. Unless that. We have Jamie, who is one of the few people in their entire UHC recovery round community who has died to a zombie pigment. Into the end. <laughs> Specifically. Uh, we have the Sonic Joey, who won his first ever FFA, non recorded round and recorded round, into the end season one. We have job, Kinako, Joe. who won his first uh, season of To the End he played in season 12, which was big teams, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> Uh, did I miss it? Oh, we have Kevin Peary. He's a returner from season 11. Uh, hello, Kevin. Cool. And in tier <laughs> one... <laughs> and in tier one, we have... Wait, shit. Um, I think Kazmik's tier two now? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Of course, right. we said Dom's in tier two. All right. Uh, we have Kazmik slash Dom in tier two as well. Um, he was one in six going into last season, but now he's seven in seven. Wow. Wow. Neat. We have Cold Bacon, who just joined a few minutes ago. He made the season 17 intro. Uh, we have Hammerfan. He died to love in his debut season. And to the end. We have Michael, who died to PvE in his debut season. And his also that was also his first ever PvE death in a recorded round. What a good tier one we have here. Uh, we have Speedo, <laughs> one of the winners of the se season 15 contest. And he won his first season. We have Tommy SX. His last two to the end kills um, were both on players who had um, the letter V starting for their name. So, you know, don't kill me. 
Uh, we have Tooth. In his in his six seasons, he's always died in either episode six or seven. And we have Vernon. In his three seasons, his team has always finished last. Fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, uh, tier one. What a great. I like how like two of the tier one players are people who have just the worst stats into yeah, the I like, game. I like, I like the kids. They're definitely kids. Um, also, Dude, also yeah, joining yeah, us for the season two specs, uh, vinyl and tags. I'm not cool Bye. enough to pass a vote. That's why I'm here. You're also just That's not cool enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and with that, yeah. let's commence killing. I have yeah. power now. Yeah. Yeah. It's not for me. It's not your yeah. thing. Yeah. Time to go. Brothers, welcome uh, to the end. Number uh, I don't actually know. I think it's 19. And unfortunately, we have to be in solo commentary land for an entire 15 minutes. It's very sad. So I'll probably be talking about some good albums from 2018 because I have not heard. Oh, this one button. I have not heard enough. Truly great album from this year, which is 2019. So, but in case you don't know what the game modes are, because you didn't watch the intro, which would be really weird. Not gonna lie. Oh my god, this mod got clean. I haven't played a non cut clean game in centuries. It's not gonna be hasty, boys, either. This is the craziest experience of my life. But yes. It is the late big tier teams. It's a lot of words. So I don't know what the plan is really. I don't like the only person that I kind of know or have spoke to recently that's on T4 is Katie. So if it's possible, I'm gonna try go on Katie's team. That is all down to the luck. For now, we're just gonna have play some Minecraft. <laughs> Man, some Iron Ore. And I guess talk about uh, albums. So, let's start off with what was my favorite album from last year, which I'm not alone in. Uh, it's Daughters is You Won't Get What You Want, which absolutely blew up on Rate Your Music, and then Fontana gave it a 10, so it, was, it like. It was crazy. But yeah, I got into Daughters like like June of last year. I, I like their self-titled album from 2010. It's really good, and it's better than the their album from last year. So you know, right? Wait, is there a to string? Is that a thing? It's not. Oh no, I don't need to kill sheep. But yes, um. I like your self tired album a lot. Uh, but the realm from last year is really, really good as well. Like, when I when the first single was released, I, I had only heard the self titled material, and it was way different from any of that. Going in a much like, longer, like, not these quick blasts anymore, which. To be fair, they've been going away from that for their entire discography because their first two albums were just straight up like grindcore stuff. But yeah, see it in a way it was like like almost as long as like three songs from self titled and it's like almost as long as their first album just in total. I need to play the game because I'm just kinda of running around not exactly paying attention to what I'm supposed to be doing. Because usually I have a 
game plan to like farm some stats or something. Not what you do in a recorded round. Can't tower either. Basically, you have to kill animals, chickens, the cows. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. I don't really need to get apples. I'll be fine. Okay, I might not be fine actually. I kind of want to get an apple now. <laughs> because I have a feeling I'm just going to like lose 7 hearts to a stupid... I don't know, it's just some stupid experience. But I, I don't think I really can be bothered to get apples. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I think I'll just not. I think I'll try to find some coos. Get leather. Then... On the ground. Also, no full brights, that's the thing. I've got like this, like, I don't, for, I forget what it's called, it's like some middle ground between Fulbright and just vanilla. I don't know, apparently that's allowed, so, so we take what we can get. <laughs> so I, like I think, I think I'll be fine without torches. So, we'll see, we'll see, I might have to make some, it'll be unfortunate. All of Donkind, we do not like torches around these parts. Okay, so back to the album, right? So the first thing that came out, like I said, and I was excited, thought it was really good. Uh, very nice change of pace for them. It's like like a natural evolution, really, from their self-titled album. And then the second single came around, which, you know, I also liked a fair bit. I was still excited for the album. It was like, so like up there is one of my most anticipated albums of the year. And then the third single came, and someone's been here, hello. Long Road No Turns, it's just, it's, the hell, it's Cold Bacon. Hello Cold Bacon, how are you today? Just gonna spectate him a little bit. Oh, he's, he's, he's found me. <laughs> hello brother. Okay. I'm gonna give him a raw mutton present. No problem, okay. So yeah, the long road no turns. It, bl it blew me away, like I was, I was in love with that song. And at that point I was like, okay, this album is gonna be really good. <laughs> and then uh, when it came out, I liked it. And But then like over the course of like the next two months, I just, I just kept growing on me more and more. And yeah, that's basically why it's my favorite album because it's just so loud. Well, see, it's a lot of people when they talk about what makes this album so great, right? They're like, it's so loud and noisy, and I'm like, I'm sure, I it is. I'm not gonna lie, but what I feel like what Doris does really well and what they did better on their self titled album is like make the songs extremely accessible still. Like, Doors of self titled album is literally just, like, noise rock f for people who like pop, basically. Which is my thing, I like uh, loud stuff. That still has that pop appeal, that's my deal. I'm gonna go down this cave, I guess. Cause I gotta go down at some point, before I forget to do that. Um, so yeah, back to the thing. That's the the poppy, the, well it's not, you can't say it's poppy, like, it's, it's not made poppy, but pop appeal that it has, which you can tell like with how popular the album got, if it was truly really out there, it would not have gone that popular. And that's really what I like about them, and like I said about a lot of the other musicians. But anyway, I've talked enough about Daughters, it's time to move on to another album from last year that I enjoyed a lot. Which surprised me, kind of, um, which is the new spiritualized album and nothing hurt. Which, um, for those who don't know, which that's probably probably no one here really cares enough to know. Um, spirit spiritualized album from nineteen ninety seven. Ladies and gentlemen, we are floating in space. Is my favorite album of all time. 
it's really good. Uh, it's, it's everything about it I love. But then this new album, right? I, when the first thing was came out, I was like, okay, this is basically just that album. Then, ladies and gentlemen, we are floating in space again. They were just like literally a perfect miracle, which was one of the two singles released. It it was it bordered on just straight up being a re rethread of um, the title track from Ladies and Gentlemen, which you know I wasn't I was kind of disappointed at that point, but I was still going to check out the album obviously because they released my favorite album of all time. Like I can't just stop liking them. Okay, hello Lava Light update. So when the album came out, I listened to it and I was just like I was taken aback by just how much I actually liked it. And yeah, I just I kept enjoying it more and more. I just kind of realized that I don't even care that it's literally the same album, kind of. Because many people have pointed out that it is basically, ladies and gentlemen, we are floating in space again. But I don't care because <laughs> because it's really good and it's exactly what I want. It's just extremely consistent. I'm gonna need coal. So, um, songs like uh, "The Morning After" or "On the Sunshine" just get that nice space rock jams kind of vibe, especially the second half of "The Morning After." It's great, great. Um, but there's also just a lot of really beautiful songs like. Let's Dance, The Perfect Miracle, The End of a Perfect Miracle, just has a bunch of these vocals laid over each other, much like the title track from Ladies and Gentlemen, We Are Filling in Space. And Let's Dance just has this beautiful build up to the climax of the song. Just a lovely album all around. Um, so I guess we'll move on doing this off the top of my head, like, back when I had to do solo commentary in Des Comedy number one, which was a while ago at this point, <laughs> I, I made like a small list of albums that I liked, which by the way, that list is garbage, do not listen to 2017 Dawn, I mean there's some good albums on that list, I'm sure. Like I, like, I still enjoy most of them, probably. But, 2017 Dawn had quite a different taste. Um, so yeah, I'm doing this off the top of my head. Don't have a list like back then. I'm gonna end up, um, whatever it's called. There's a word. I'm, I will remember this word. Just give me a minute, guys. Digress, there you go, that's what I'm looking for. I'm going to end up digressing a lot from, from the elms I'm going to be talking about. Because that's what I do. And I don't have a problem with that. I like just kind of letting the conversation with myself flow, if you know what I'm saying. So, next time I'm going to be talking about... Um, let's talk about... The Black Dresses, which is a wonderful industrial pop duo in Canada, consisting of two trans ladies, and the album is basically about them, like their experiences in, like, in their everyday life. It's, it's a very, per it's very personal kind of, well not kind of, it is. <laughs> And it's, um, like I said, it's industrial, so uh, I tweeted about this like a while ago, about how they are basically making the pop music that I've always wanted, and yeah, it's very true, because they have, once again, just like daughters, except even more here, they have very loud noise stuff, but also having a big pop appeal. And yeah, that's even more true with black dresses, where you can't strip mine, that's not allowed, guys, back in staircase, though. But it might have been okay if I wasn't paying the most attention. Because I'm talking. Dude, solo commentary is such a big hindrance to playing Minecraft. How do people do this? 
I used to think it was like decent at multitasking, which I, I mean, I'm, I'm fine, but it's just I go on autopilot, which is fine sometimes, but not where you're like on running around the surface for like too long. Don't worry guys, I muted my mic, I coughed. Okay, also we're not making torches. I should smelt my iron. I mean, I highly doubt anyone's gonna come kill me. I do need to cook food. This is weird. Okay. I doubt anyone will come kill me. It's gonna be like awkward if you run into um, a solo as a team. Which will happen. Like, you have to make a decision, right? Are you gonna go kill them? Probably not. I feel like most people won't bother doing that. Like solos might kill each other. Like teams might fight. I don't think any teams try to kill solos. Which making myself clear, I don't have a problem with, with that if you're doing that. Like we're playing this to win. That's like that's just how it is, right? This is a game competitive, so I don't really care if you're trying to win. It's, that's just my opinion on it. I like people get upset at like for instance jump shotting or just walling all the time. Which is kind of annoying, but I don't I, I can't blame them for just wanting to win the game. That's kind of the whole point. So yeah, if if, some, if, if they do kill if a team does kill a solo, you know, I won't have a problem with it. It's so logical, but I feel like most people here don't care enough about winning to actually do that. Let's do that. Is it time to start picking teams? Oh, it is. I should pay attention to chat. Right, so we might be... Well, we, no, we will be on a team soon. We'll see with who, though. The dream. Okay. Got some well, iron going here. Already. Uh, what else do I need? Sword and buckets, I guess. Get rid of that stuff. Won't need that anymore. Alright, let's uh, join KDC. The music Discord theme is gonna come true, I believe. Let's join the Discord. Where is she? Welcome. Hey, Don. Welcome. This works perfectly. Our plan is working perfectly. It's just gonna happen, I believe. How are you, Don? How you been? How you doing? How's I'm your game going? Going well. Well, it's Good. going okay, I guess. I've got full iron. That's about it. But uh, I'm currently. I haven't got any armor on, but I've got the iron for it. I'm just trying to find a fucking skeleton that's um making noise. Where is he? Is he above me? Not tell. Yeah, I'll oh, he is above just... me. Okay, cool. I found the skeleton. No, oh, he's where he is. I'm, I'm staircasing now, which is very unfortunate. Uh, also, hang on, hang on. Does TL work? Probably does. It's Arctic. To... Yeah, I mean, I mean, I just want to check if the teams are configured for us, and so that you're like, you know, thrown together. Yeah, but they're doing it manually, so it should be fine. Oh, okay. Did that come up for you? Yes. All right. Well, I'm, there you I'm, go. I'm here. Okay, so exactly the opposite side of the world. Yes. That's okay. It's gonna be a while till we meet up. That's fine. I'm cool with that. Yeah, I mean it's like episode seven's meet up, right? So uh, we've got a long time. Yeah, we've got we've got plenty of time. I mean, I'll probably die before then, so it's fine. Uh, I'd hope not. But, I mean, I am known as not good at the game. I think this is entirely apparent. Yeah, but you call it, you can survive PVE, right? Like, come on. Uh. Depends. I've already taken two hearts to a zombie. So. All right. I'm, I'm still Iron Dawn. The dream still alive. <laughs> Iron. God. I'm gonna. I'm, I will camp. I will get you towards Iron. Uh, Iron Man. <laughs> Why did I forget the word man? <laughs> because I said Iron Dawn. <laughs> Iron. Dawn. Yeah. You confused. You made me think it was a third gender in my head. That was. Really... <laughs> That's it. What are you, male, female, or Don? I'm fine with this. Right. Okay. There is a skeleton somewhere. 
He's somewhere in this cave. There he is. I found him. Okay. Nice. This is fine. The good news is I found him. The bad news is I found him. So, it's unfortunate. Yeah. Also, but I'm also assuming good. your perspective has already started with music opinions. Yes. Ah, good. Because I, I was thinking, what the fuck am I going to fill my solo commentary with? So I started doing controversial opinions. I think music opinions was going to be my next topic. So, howdy. Well, I, was, I was just going to talk about my uh, favorite albums of last year. But then I only got like two and a half albums deep. Yeah, that was, that was the issue for me. I started talking about food. And then as soon as I started the food topic, it was like, okay, team time. Hooray. All right, so actually, actually, Don, since you've listened to what I consider a lot of obscure artists, what are your favorite albums that you haven't mentioned yet? Or if you want to re-mention the ones. Just of all time, or what? Uh, just the, well, just the ones you were talking about. If you're doing last year, do last year. Well, um, my favorite album of last year was Daughters, this You Won't Get What You Want, which you might have heard of. Uh, you know, I could just bring up Spotify during this and listen to them. It's because uh, Fantano did give them a 10, so they got like really popular for were that. Were they in his um, Albums of the Year list? Because I did watch that. Yeah, they were, they were number one. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, it's that one. Okay, cool. Yeah. Fantano and I agree you It was a good time I mean my main agreement with Fantano was how high he put Andrew WK's album Got like two seconds into that and then I was like yeah I'm not in the mood for this and then I never never <laughs> yeah. returned I mean it, it was it was I was in the mood for it because I was playing a game it's entirely the music you listen to while playing a game it's not Oh goodbye uh, everybody 